to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel and so today I'm making a dessert because yesterday I tried to make a dessert for my family and it turned out really bad like it wasn't even edible I'm not that great of a cook and so I like easy things and I thought the other recipe was easy but I guess it just <laughs> wasn't easy enough so this I've made before I'm gonna put the recipe in the description below because this is not my own recipe so I will put that below but basically right here we have a cup of flour and a cup of sugar and almost a whole stick of butter i had used some of it for my son's um grits this morning so it's almost a whole stick and while the oven is heating up right now i'm gonna put that in the oven to melt and so you, while it's preheating you just let that melt so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of baking powder so this is a half teaspoon so I'm gonna do two of those because my teaspoon is dirty <laughs> so two of those and we're gonna add one cup of milk all right so now that I have the milk in here I'm gonna mix this all together and then we're gonna pour it in the pan once the butter melts and at 350 you're gonna cook it for 30 minutes Oh, and man, um, I forgot to say this too. You're gonna put the peaches on top, but I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, let's just mix this together. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I think I'm gonna add a splash of this Baker's imitation vanilla, and also just a little sprinkle of this ground cinnamon just to kick it up a notch. So put, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together now. I didn't wanna overpower it, but I thought it'd add a little bit of something. I know I've made recipes before where they add it, so I thought it would be yummy. Here's the batter once I've stirred it all up. It's nice and smooth now. So I'm just waiting for the butter to melt in the oven and then I'm gonna pour this in and add the peaches on top. Okay everyone, so now that the butter is all melted and bubbly and spread across the pan pretty good. Let's spread it a little more. Here we go, that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the batter. So here we go. And all that butter too is gonna make it like nice and crispy on top so let me scrape that bowl and I'll be right back all right, and now that all the batter is in there I'm gonna go ahead and put the peaches on top just sprinkle those on I drained this can of peaches there we go and so this is a 14.5 ounce can I think it called for 15 ounces but this is all I had so just work with what you got now we're going to stick this in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 and it should be done hey, you guys so it looks about done I put it in like 10 more minutes I don't know if my oven is like weird or something but 350 not not work and it was getting brown around the edges but it's still a little white in the middle but it does look cooked to me so I'm gonna leave it like this anyway you okay? yeah so here it is ultimately i did the powdered sugar just so it would look cute but it's still hot so it's gonna melt on there so maybe do it when it's cooled off but here it is hey you guys so i just took a bite from the corner and it's crispy you can taste the butter you can taste the cinnamon and sugar it's really really good whenever it cools down a little bit more i think will be even better so this is super easy i will link it the um recipe in the description box below so check this out. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get Theodore to taste it. He's already had a couple bites, but looks like he likes it. Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> I think he likes it too, so it's super easy. It's like just a few ingredients, so go ahead and give it a try. Thank y'all for watching and like this video. <laughs> like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I'll see you later. Bye.